brutal killer invades a traveler's blood. He said it was very, very critical that you get to medicine that quickly, otherwise you're dead. I've been to Africa 11 times. We were there three and a half months ago, and I was there for a little over three weeks. But two weeks into the trip, Dwight suddenly starts to feel unwell. I just started to feel very, very weak. One day you wake up and you're just, you're so weak that you can't hardly get out of bed. I just got weaker and weaker and weaker until I was so weak I couldn't stand on my own. What's astounding is that the illness that has Dwight fighting for his life started with a simple fly bite. Africa is a big place and there's different animals, different pests in different places. but. In Tanzania, you have the titsy flies. They are about the size of a house fly and normally a little bit bigger, but they're just extremely aggressive, and you just hate to have them pestering you all day long. But the tsetse fly that bit Dwight wasn't just a nuisance. It was infected with a deadly parasite, a single-celled killer called trypanosoma. And when the fly bit him, these parasites flooded into Dwight's bloodstream. Inside his body, these cunning intruders began to divide and elongate. They used their long tails, called flagellum, to swim throughout his bloodstream. The result is a severe case of trypanosomiasis, or African sleeping sickness. Dwight's immune system is helpless to stop the microscopic assassins. Each individual trypanosoma parasite is armed with a shield of proteins. In the bloodstream, white blood cells recognize these proteins as foreign, and they build up antibodies that attack the proteins. But trypanosomes can actually change their protein coat of armor, rendering the blood's antibodies useless. This leaves them free to reproduce and devastate the body's red blood cells, the very cells that carry nutrients and oxygen throughout the body. Starved of nutrients, the patient goes into a coma and ultimately dies. 